Chapter 25 And Samuel dieth, and all Israel are gathered, and mourn for him, and bury him in his house, in Ramah. And David riseth, and goeth down unto the wilderness of Paran. And there is a man in Maon, and his work is in Carmel. And the man is very great, and he hath three thousand sheep, and a thousand goats, and he is shearing his flock in Carmel. And the name of the man is Nabal, and the name of his wife Abigail. And the woman is of good understanding, and of fair form. And the man is hard and evil in doings, and he is a Calebite. And David heareth in the wilderness that Nabal is shearing his flock, and David sendeth ten young men, and David saith to the young men, Go ye up to Carmel, and ye have come in unto Nabal, and asked of him in my name of welfare, and said thus, To life, and thou peace, and thy house peace, and all that thou hast peace. And now I have heard that thou hast shearers. Now the shepherds whom thou hast have been with us, we have not put them to shame, nor hath anything been looked after by them all the days of their being in Carmel. Ask thy young men, and they declare to thee, and the young men find grace in thine eyes, for on a good day we have come. Give, I pray thee, that which thy hand findeth to thy servants, and to thy son, to David. And the young men of David come in, and speak unto Nabal according to all these words, in the name of David, and rest. And Nabal answereth the servants of David, and saith, Who is David, and who the son of Jesse? Today have servants been multiplied who are breaking away each from his master. And I have taken my bread, and my water, and my flesh, which I slaughtered for my shearers, and have given it to men whom I have not known whence they are. And the young men of David turn on their way, and turn back, and come in, and declare to him according to all these words. And David saith to his men, Gird ye on each his sword. And they gird on each his sword, and David also girdeth on his sword, and there go up after David about four hundred men, and two hundred have remained by the vessels. And to Abigail wife of Nabal hath one young man of the youths declared, saying, Lo, David hath sent messengers out of the wilderness to bless our Lord, and he flieth upon them. And the men are very good to us, and have not put us to shame, and we have not looked after anything all the days we have gone up and down with them in our being in the field. A wall they have been unto us both by night and by day, all the days of our being with them, feeding the flock. And now... Know and consider what thou dost, for evil hath been determined against our Lord and against all his house, and he is too much a son of worthlessness to be spoken to. And Abigail hasteth, and taketh two hundred loaves, and two bottles of wine, and five sheep, prepared, and five measures of roasted corn, and a hundred bunches of raisins, and two hundred bunches of figs, and setteth them on the asses. And she saith to her young men, Pass over before me. Lo, after you I am coming. And to her husband Nabal she hath not declared it. And it hath come to pass, she is riding on the ass, and is coming down in the secret part of the hill country. And lo, David and his men are coming down to meet her, and she meeteth them. And David said, <sighs> Only in vain I have kept all that this one hath in the wilderness, and nothing hath been looked after of all that he hath and he turneth back to me evil for good. Thus doth God do to the enemies of David, and thus he doth add, if I leave of all that he hath till the light of the morning, of those sitting on the wall. And Abigail seeth David, and hasteth, and cometh down from off the ass, and falleth before David on her face, and boweth herself to the earth, and falleth at his feet, and saith, On me, my lord, the iniquity, and let, I pray thee, thy handmaid speak in thine ear, and hear the words of thy handmaid. Let not, I pray thee, my lord set his heart to this man of worthlessness on Nabal. For as his name is, so is he. Nabal is his name, and folly is with him. And I, thine handmaid, did not see the young men of my lord whom thou didst send. And now, my lord, Jehovah liveth, and thy soul liveth. 
in that jehovah hath withheld thee from coming in with blood and to save thy hand to thee now let thine enemies be as nabal even though seeking evil unto my lord and now this blessing which thy maid servant hath brought to my lord it hath been given to the young men who are going up and down at the feet of my lord bear i pray thee with the transgression of thy handmaid for jehovah doth certainly make to my lord a steadfast house for the battles of jehovah hath my lord fought and evil is not found in thee all thy days and man riseth to pursue thee and to seek thy soul and the soul of my lord hath been bound in the bundle of life with jehovah thy god as to the soul of thine enemies he doth sling them out in the midst of the hollow of the sling and it hath been when jehovah doth to my lord according to all the good which he hath spoken concerning thee and appointed thee for leader over israel that this is not to thee for a stumbling-block and for an offence of heart to my lord either to shed blood for naught or my lord's restraining himself and jehovah hath done good to my lord and thou hast remembered thy handmaid and david saith to abigail blessed is jehovah god of israel who hath sent thee this day to meet me and blessed is thy discretion and blessed art thou in that thou hast restrained me this day from coming in with blood and to restrain my hand to myself and yet jehovah liveth god of israel who hath kept me back from doing evil with thee for unless thou hadst hasted and dost come to meet me surely there had not been left to nabal till the light of the morning of those sitting on the wall and david receiveth from her hand that which he hath brought to him and to her he hath said go up in peace to thy house see i have hearkened to thy voice and accept thy face and abigail cometh in unto nabal and lo he hath a banquet in his house like a banquet of the king and the heart of nabal is glad within him and he is drunk unto excess and she hath not declared to him anything less or more till the light of the morning and it cometh to pass in the morning when the wine is gone out from nabal that his wife declareth to him these things and his heart dieth within him and he hath been as a stone and it cometh to pass in about ten days that jehovah smiteth nabal and he dieth and david heareth that nabal is dead and saith blessed is jehovah who hath pleaded the cause of my reproach from the hand of nabal and his servant hath kept back from evil and the wickedness of nabal hath jehovah turned back on his own head and david sendeth and speaketh with abigail to take her to him for a wife and the servants of david come in unto abigail at carmel and speak unto her saying david hath sent us unto thee to take thee to him for a wife and she riseth and boweth herself face to the earth and saith lo thy handmaid is for a maid-servant to wash the feet of the servants of my lord and abigail hasteth and riseth and rideth on the ass and five of her young women who are going at her feet and she goeth after the messengers of david and is to him for a wife and ahinoam hath david taken from jezreel and they are even both of them to him for wives and saul gave michal his daughter wife to david to phaltai son of laish who was of galim